Welcome to the second edition of the Weekly Envision here for the North Atlantic Basin. And we are going to be discussing the lack of tropical cyclone development in the Atlantic Basin. There's nothing active right now, and there's probably nothing going to be active for a pretty decent amount of time. Uh, so let's investigate why. If we take a look at sea surface temperatures, um, pretty warm here in the Car Western Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico with 28 degrees centigrade waters. The 26 degree isotherm uh, running pretty much exactly where you would want it to be for this time of year. Um, if we take a look at the anomalies, nothing necessarily impressive except for the Gulf Stream here up in the north being pretty warm for this time of year. And um, non, uh, not places that you would expect uh, tropical cyclones developed for this time of year. So that will bring us to our first graphic that we'll look at, uh, which is the Atlantic Deep Wind Shear Layer, and it's still looking pretty poor for development. Um, you can see the wind shear layer, um, the blues, which indicates no wind shear, or very little, uh, are to the east of the Lesser Antilles, but nothing's going to be developing there, and I'll show you why. And there also seems to be a pretty deep cut in the wind shear layer um, going from the Yucatan Peninsula, extending all the way across uh, Cuba and Florida, and then going up the East Coast. Um, but that's probably not that's probably going to be short-lived and not going to result from anything. So going back into here. Um, here is the water vapor imagery and just a huge dry air pocket over the Lesser Antilles and to the east of Lesser Antilles. So don't expect any tropical cyclone development here. Um, pocket of dry air across the Gulf of Mexico, nothing favorable there. Off the coast of Florida, nothing but dry air. Dry, 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 dry. Didn't Mother Nature realize that so much dry can actually be unhealthy for you? Come on now. He, some people need to know this. You'd think that Mother Nature would know this. Uh, moist air is definitely coming across the Caribbean from the Pacific Ocean, though, but wind shear will certainly halt any development in that area. So now that'll bring us to the next presentations, which will be my personal furry favorite. Favorite, if we can get to them, <laughs> if they will show up. Come on. There we go, we got it up now. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the models. We're going to start with the GFS model, and we can see Blanca coming in to the Baja Peninsula and weakening slowly. Um, maybe some type of weak system developing in the East Pacific there. And the GFS also has some type of low here going across uh, Canada. But nothing really developing as the subtropical high is just completely dominating the entirety of the Atlantic. Just no tropical cyclone development expected. Now we're going to take a look at the ECMWF. Here is Blanca. And this goes at 24 hours at a time. And here's again that Canadian low. And here's another low that is going to be coming through Canada, potentially. But once again, nothing necessarily in the tropics. Take a look at the cowbell the Canadian model and this is the most aggressive so if there's going to be anything developing the CMC will certainly pick directly up on it and nothing in the East Pacific and here's the uh, low potentially coming up off of Pennsylvania and just deepening rather just completely bombing out here and then making landfall in Newfoundland so the CMC model predicting a rather significant storm uh, coming up here through Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. So through the Canadian Maritimes might have a pretty significant storm coming. 
if we take a look at the activity so far this season, we are currently ranked 10th with name with countless other seasons. Um, so there's plenty of seasons in front of us that have had a name storm and a hurricane thus far to this point at June 8th. Uh, but behind us, we have the active seasons of 2003, 2007, and 2008. The rather inactive seasons of 2006 and 2013. And then in front of us, 38 was a decently active season, 55 was, 82 wasn't really that active, 68 and 70, I don't remember um, what their activity was like. I imagine about average, most of the seasons in that era were about average. Um, if we take a look at the worldwide tropical cyclone activities, we have two stage two cyclones going on right now. Hurricane Andres has gone away. Uh, Tropical Storm Blanca, which got as far as a Category 4 or Stage 7 Cyclone. Um, potentially a Category 5, according to Simis, but that's unofficial. Um, currently over the Baja California Peninsula and weakening. And then we also have Cyclone Ashoba in the Arabian Sea that is in very warm sea surface temperatures and could probably deepen rather rapidly out there. Uh, I wish I had a GIF for it, but unfortunately, Mateo's set only updates every six hours. So, the important notes for the Atlantic. A hole in the deep wind shear layer to the east of the Lesser Antilles is not going to result in tropical cyclone development because of the dry air that is there. Um, SSTs are near normal or below normal, except for the northern Gulf Stream and the Gulf of Mexico, which we're probably not going to look for tropical cyclone development in either place at this time of year anyways. Elsewhere, tropical cyclone development is not expected in the Atlantic in the next week, and probably going to be the same for the week after that as well. Um, the next updates, the next weekly envision will be June the 15th. Hope to see you then. Um, for Cyclonic Minutes, probably not going to see that anytime soon. And the live Envision, if Ashoba develops uh, rather quickly like they're expecting it to and keeps its intensity all the way to a potential landfall in the Arabian Peninsula as a Stage 7 Cyclone, I'll be going live to that. Other than that, you will not see me until next Monday. See you then.